The Control Center console is a new view in Helios Control Center. Here's Control Center running uh, my most complicated Helios profile. Um, basically it gives you a button and a lamp and then when you press the button it lights the lamp. But this is a video about the console. Uh, console is over here on the right next to the preferences button. So uh, prefs turns on and off the preferences pane that was always there in 1.4. And the console similarly turns on the console pane. So here's uh, the console. It shows some messages on, on startup. Um, you can go up and down if you um, had more than one screen worth of data. Uh, but the importance of it really is that is that when errors happen. So for that purpose, I'm going to uh, load something. Let's see this M2000 profile. Uh, that isn't actually, I'm not finished configuring it. So what will happen is uh, when we run it, an error happened. And um, if the console was closed, then you would just see the master caution light. And that tells you that you want to look at the console. But if I already had the console open, so um, that's why it's there. So I ran it twice. And so you see here, and it says loading profile. And then it has a red message, which indicates an error. And uh, it just says you cannot run this profile because it's an invalid monitor configuration, a message we all know and hate because you just have to go back to the profile editor and do the reset monitors. Um, it tells you this, that that's what you have to do before you can uh, use it. Uh, if that's again, like in the previous video about uh, sharing the uh, information, if let's pretend that this message was an actual error and not just us forgetting to configure the profile, then you can click a share button down here in the console, which is this, uh, has the same functionality as the uh, profile editor's interface status share button, a uh, share report button uh, that we've discussed in the previous video. So you click there, you get the report, and then just as a refresher from the previous video, um, you can copy to clipboard or file a bug going to go through all that again but I, but this is uh, you know the same type of report as we see in the uh, status report sharing video that's pretty much it for the console uh, you can clear it which will uh, erase its contents I recommend you don't do that usually if you're going to ask for help because um, if you try it multiple times th the messages if it's a transient failure of some sort you might not get the same messages again so it would actually be better for the person debugging it to get all of the data. So I would, I would not clear it if I'm in the middle of, of, of working on a problem. Um, the, you know, if you know, let's say this is a warning that you don't care about, you can also just click away the master warning I mean the master caution light. Um, it'll, it'll, you know, come back on if, if another warning or error happens. So that's pretty much it for the console.